I'm studying physical geography and I've worked on a project previously that ESA helped uh, sponsor and so I find it very interesting what they do and what they're looking at. I like fluid mechanics and it's uh, useful everywhere, also in uh, spacecraft. My name is Maria Hammerstrom, I'm from Oslo and I study astrophysics. Yeah, I studied cybernetics, which is a mix of maths, physics and uh, informatics. This is where I did my degree and I can go back and tell people about what my experiences are and educate them that it's possible to do what I did uh, for anyone here, that this opportunity is there, ESA is there for them to work. And my name is Jonas and I study mathematics. I'm taking a master degree in mathematics, so this is my last semester. I've noticed a steady increase in the knowledge of ESA and in the interest of, uh, for people to work in ESA. This is very nice to be able to talk back and forth without having to email or anything. They're so big in the field and doing so much important, so it would be a great place to be. In my field, <clears throat> we need people who are creative, who think for themselves, have new ideas. We very much appreciate having new people in. Cell, you stood there till I had, Kubernetes. Og trodde aldri jeg ville få jobb et sånt sted, og det gikk helt fint, og jeg anbefaler dere å gjøre det samme. ESA har en reputasjon som being you know, the best of the best. And then they come to ESA and realize that uh, you know, it's a lovely work environment. They get to take their student attitudes and thinking with them, and, and they relax. And, and they realize that they have an opportunity to do what they were educated to do in an international environment. I'm only uh, in my bachelor, but uh, I want to see what there is. I'm very interested in working for uh, for ESA and be part of of the research and development that uh, that ESA does. I think it's good for Norwegians to get abroad and see how other people live and work and I think it makes you appreciate other cultures and you become a bit more open-minded. Here we meet primarily people who are in the natural sciences. So we've had mathematicians, statisticians, physicists, chemists, and all of these people have a place in ESA. And what's important is to explain to them that the world has got smaller. No matter where you live, you always have contact to your home, you always have contact to your friends and family. And it's exciting. It's an opportunity rather than something to be nervous about. I like space. Space. It's kind of beyond the, the area where you normally can explore. It's a fantastic working environment. You get to work with people from many different countries. You get to expand your ideas, develop your ideas and you get to work in the space uh, uh, area, domain, which is a very fascinating thing.